everyone. Welcome back. Today is a very, very special day. Actually, I'm playing this all. Well, no, I'll probably upload it before Mother's Day, but this is my um, little Mother's Day um, spiel, I guess, for Freaky Deaky Mind. Thank you for coming back. If you haven't been here before, happy Mother's Day, all your mothers and wannabe mothers and and mothers and mothers and mothers, just mothers. Happy Mother's Day. So, when I first started Freaky Deaky Mind a while back, well, a few years back, I wrote um, a post and placed it on my blog, which is now still called Freaky Deaky Mind Blog, but it's on busybeemporium.com. There's a little tab there that says Freaky Deaky Mind. I thought to myself, why bother having two separate sites when I can just place it in Busy Bee Emporium? So I have. So before I wrote this about my mom, um, it was so, how do you put words together for someone so priceless in your life. Someone that is not a someone to me. It's the biggest part of me. I'm the I'm part of her. She's 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 my family. She's the ultimate my family, my mom. Um, I don't have dad anymore. I have my kids, my brothers. But mom is Mom is in the center of the circle. She's the center of the circle. So I'm going to read this. I don't even remember what I put in this. I just printed it off because I was trying to figure out what kind of, what I'm going to do for Mother's Day. And so I thought, why not read my written blog on my vlog um, of Freaky Deaky Mind? Because I did start out with Freaky Deaky Mind um, as a blog um, for many years. And now I combined both my sites. So this one is entitled Mother Hubbard. Mother Hubbard, I don't know why I started calling her Mother Hubbard, probably the poem, you know, with the woman in the shoe. I think that's probably why I started calling her that. And I don't even know how long it's been that I've called her Mother Hubbard. It's been forever. Anyhow, I'll read this. So I'm going to be looking down. Mother Hubbard. On this day, which is Mother's Day, we celebrate mothers. We send flowers. We take mom out to eat and make breakfast in bed. We post our pictures and words of how much our mom means to us for everyone to see on Facebook and social media. This year, we celebrate differently. Oh, this is about COVID-19. COVID-19 keeps us from our precious mom. And if we are privileged enough to have our mom still alive and well, this isolation may help us to reflect. This restriction of no contact may resonate with our needs to be near our mom, mother, and what that means. My mom has always been there for my brothers and me. She made sure we have beautiful birthdays, Easter, Christmases, family meals, and picnics. Picnics. She took us to Victoria Park off and without a car when we were kids. She made picnics. We ate in various places in Truro, under the Bible Hill Bridge, fishing with picnics, walking to the Dairy Queen and the Kiwanis Park, which we called the Duck Pond. They were some of our favorite spots. My mom always took the time and made the effort. She built snowmen, snow horses, and snow forts. <laughs> she, 
She played skipping rope, hopscotch, and dinky cars. <laughs> My mom provided us with beautiful meals, baked goods, cakes, and regular loaves. She made our birthday cakes and made sure we had a fantastic day. My mom did all this despite financial worries, relationship problems, and later divorce. And when she was sick, tired, and at times felt like she could not carry on, she did, because that was our mom. As an adult, you understand more. You know how hard it is to get out of your mind's way for your kids and to ensure your kids' happiness to make memories and create special moments despite what is happening in your life. Mom and I talked about how as a mom, the guilt can be so overwhelming as we feel we should or could have done more. <sighs> the sin of having little patience of yelling or snapping at our kids, the guilt of taking things out on our kids that had nothing to do with them. The added stress of failing relationships, mental health issues, household finances, no vehicles, and the fear of where the money was coming from. For milk, lunches, and toys for Christmas. As Oprah states, when we know better, we do better. Mom, my memory of you are all of love and care of providing everything you could and of doing what you knew was best at the time. I do not dwell on anything that was not ideal because as an adult with my children of my own, I understand entirely. I want you to know that I could never compare myself to you as a mom because you are flawless in my eyes. If I were you, my kids would have had the best childhood you are the mom I wish I were. Oh, you are the rock and family foundation. You are the Sunday supper memories, the birthday party gatherings, the Thanksgiving meals, and the baby shower celebrations, despite the fact I tried to get you not to organize it. <laughs> You are the mom who arrives at my door. With needed medications, you are the mom who made sure my kids had what they needed when I couldn't provide it. You made their birthday cakes, played in the snow with them, and provided them with beautiful meals. You gave gifts you gave gifts to place under the tree from Santa. You brought things for my kids' lunches and you brought food so we would not be hungry. You gave me a safe place to stay on more than one occasion when I thought my world was falling apart. You cared for my children and me when I couldn't. When my mental health was weak and I could not get out of my own way, you stepped in. You are my kid's second mom. Whew. Sorry. You deserve a crown and a queen's throne. I wish for you to focus on you and do what you love at this time in your life. I wish for you relaxation good health, and an abundance of days. I wish that you always read a great book, have sun in your face, and enjoy the sweet smell of babies. I want for you no more tears of worry or loss, and I wish you the best day. This is so different reading this than writing this. Uh, wow. Okay. I love you more than words can say, and that is the truth. This blog of words can never completely express my appreciation, love, and gratitude. I want to give back to you 
I want to provide a safe place for you when you need it. When you feel you cannot care for yourself, I want to care for you and be at your door. To hug you when you cry and to do whatever I can to make your life easier. You deserve the same world you provided for me. <sighs> A world of safety, love, and comfort. I am the lucky one. And I thank you because not only do I have a queen of a mom, I have the best friend. <laughs> oh dear, I should have had Kleenex here. I didn't I didn't see that coming at all. I love you, mom. Okay. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. I love you so much. I just want to read another little thing I printed off. Um, and this was on my blog, and it's only short. Um, whew. <laughs> Should I read another one? I'm not sure. Okay. Oh, dear. Okay. Mother's Day Sadness. It's called... My God. <laughs> Talking is so different than writing. Mother's Day Sadness. Since 1997 and every year after, you called on Mother's Day. Usually early in the morning, the phone would ring. And I always knew it was you. Some mornings I was cranky. Sorry. But it made me so happy most of the time. You never ever forgot. When both my children were born, you were there the entire time. You worried, you paced, checked in on me during my labors. Sometimes I was cranky, sometimes. I'm sorry. But I felt so loved that you loved me so very much. Oh, God. I really missed that call today, Dad. I miss the voice that would say, I hope he does something nice for you today or do something nice for yourself and enjoy Mother's Day and don't sweat the little stuff. Today, or days like today, Mother's Day, are the hardest ones because I know you will not go. You will not go. I know, Dad, the sun can't shine every day, but damn it. I know now it will never shine the same. I miss you. Okay. I didn't want all this to be a mess like this. God. Anyway, I'll debate if I'm going to post this. I think I will. Because I said... I want my blog to be true. I don't want to be editing it, and I want it to be me. Have a great Mother's Day, everyone out there. And if you don't have your mom, I'm so sorry. I can't imagine life without mine. Bye.